Come on down. Man, it's just a cistern, kid. You sure this is the right place? Yeah, it's it's gotta be. So what was Sir Francis doing all the way out here anyway? He was on a secret expedition for Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, to find the lost city of Ubar. Yeah, the Atlantis of the Sands. Under this city. No, 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 it's in the middle of the Rubel Kali Desert. This place just tells you how to find it, supposedly. Uh-huh. You know, this place looks familiar. Wait a minute, this is what Francis Drake sketched on the back of the map. See, check it out. These are the same pillars. Francis Drake must have made these notes when he was down here. Does it tell us how to find the entrance? Well, it's pretty cryptic, but I think I can work it out. These holes must be important. Guess we just have to find the right one. How are we gonna do that? There are a lot of those holes in this room. Well, there's gotta be another clue. Look around, we're missing something. Hey, Nate. There's a message scratched on the wall over here. It's in a Nakian script. Must have been left by Drake. Can you decipher it? I'll try. The moon will show the way. The moon? Down here. <laughs> I am not hanging around this place till nighttime. I'm pretty sure it's a riddle. I'll make a note of it on the map. You're gonna mark up Sir Francis's 400-year-old map? What? He wouldn't mind. There's a symbol carved into the floor over here. So if I stand here... This is it! Sully, you go to that column. Elena, you take the one on the far wall there. I've got this one. Okay, now just reach in and find the lever. Really? I think we have to pull them at the same time. Okay, but what if you're wrong? Yeah, I kinda like this arm, Nate. I use it all the time. Just do it. One, two, three. You sure that's the right lever? Listen. What I tell you? Damn, it worked. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Okay, so why the big secret all these centuries? What did Elizabeth expect Drake to find? We don't know exactly. Treasure, I guess. What else? The buried riches of a lost civilization. Of course, it's never that simple, is it? Really? And those assholes in the black suits? They're looking for the same thing, I suppose. Yeah, they're Marlowe's men. Poison. Weird. What kind of symbols are those? Never seen anything like it. I don't know. Looks like it's some sort of mechanism. But someone scattered the gears all over the room. You think Sir Francis? Who knows? Okay, well let's hope we figure it out. I think we're trapped in here until we do.
this screen decodes the images. What can you see? All right, one looks like a cross, then the other has four circles. Hey, the same symbols are on some of these gears. Huh. Symbols seem to be rotating in opposite directions to each other. Okay. What the hell's that supposed to mean? All the floating body parts? This is giving me the creeps. You get right up here. I'll go check it out. Sully, throw me your lighter. All right, coming at you. Okay, that didn't work.
first door is open. Come on. Okay, so Nate, did Francis Drake ever find that lost city that he was looking for? Don't think so. Seems like he only came this far, then turned back and headed home. And concealed everything about this little detour. Yeah. Have you stopped to ask yourself why? What do you mean? I don't know. This whole place just seems like some kind of a... a warning to me, that's all. Ah, it looks like some kind of ornate brazier. Well, I'll be go to hell. Wow. As above, so below. Sully, this is some kind of celestial map. That makes sense. The Arabs used the stars to navigate the desert just like sailors on the ocean. That's right. So you could use these constellations to find the site of the lost city. If I had a sextant, sure. I didn't do all that time in the Navy for nothing, you know. <laughs> in here, I thought you spent the whole time looking for that basket act. <laughs> the what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> hey, do you think you could remember this? Oh, yeah, but... We ought to copy it down, don't you think? No, I really don't recommend that. Hey guys, look at this. Huh. Well, that's, uh... cheery. Do you hear that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait, what is that? Get away from the walls. Hold on to that torch, kid. They're way more aggressive. Wow. Hey, they don't seem to mind the light as much. things. Wait, you knew about them? You were planning on telling me, right? Hey. Look at this. Let not the world deceive thee with its beauty. It is the dream of a dreamer. 
mirage of the desert. Cup of death will be filled for thee. Lovely. It's all in English. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been Drake. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. Drake sails thousands of miles looking for this Atlantis of the Sands. And when he gets this far, what he finds here is enough to make him turn around, sail home, and hide all evidence of his voyage. Right. But you, you're gonna keep going, aren't you? Uh, yeah. And <laughs> for what? For treasure? Sully, he listens to you. Please make him stop. Yes, Sully, please tackle me. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you two? Elena, come on, we're just joking around. Listen, you won, okay? You've outsmarted her. You know where to find the city, and Marlo doesn't. Why can't that be enough? Kid. All right, watch it. We're gonna send the ladder down. Hey, right. heads up. Got it. Get it? There. Thanks. Here, give me your guns. Can't take them out on the street. Right. Much as I'd like to. Okay, I think we're clear. Come on. We gotta make ourselves scarce before any more of them show up. <laughs>
All right, up here. It's this way. Easy, kid. Stay away. Stay away. What's wrong with him? They drugged him. What? Come on, we gotta get him out of here. Come on, stop. Touch me! All right. No. We just, we just want to help. Get away! Get away from me! Welcome back. I don't recommend making a scene. You're not exactly here legally, remember? Greatness from small beginnings. Beneath that cocky exterior, you're still the same scared, filthy little runaway, aren't you? Skip the mind games. You don't know me. In fact, I suspect I know you better than anyone, Mr. Drake. Of course, that's not your real name, is it? But we won't dwell on that. Mother commits suicide. Father surrenders son to the state at the age of five. Entrusted to the St. Francis Boys' Home. <laughs> it's also Dickensian. Oh. Don't worry. She's of no interest to us. Unless, of course, we need to apply a little pressure. What do you want from me? Well, as much as it pains me to admit it, I need your help to find Victor Sullivan. Right. We already know he has the coordinates to find Iran. How do you know that? 
You told us, Nathan. It seems your loyalty isn't as firm as you'd like to think it is. What about his? What? But what are you trying to pull? Nothing. It's just that, well, we've had you in our clutches for quite some time now. And he hasn't exactly mounted a rescue. He didn't rescue you back in Cartagena either. He just saw something he could exploit. I know what you're trying to do. Trust me. Victor is only ever in it for Victor. It's a cold, hard fact. I discovered it 20 years ago. I'm surprised it's taken you this long to figure it out. You're wasting your time, lady. Fair enough. But ask yourself, when he scooped you off the streets of Columbia 20 years ago, did he save you from that life? Or did he just doom you to this one? Ah, excellent. Well, we've located Sullivan on the other side of the city. I'm sorry, Nathan. It seems you've been removed from the equation. <laughs> asshole.
hell did he go? صباح الفلافل والحمص والببغ النوم Remember me? رامسز You should thank me, my friend uh, Right Thanks No, really The English lady bade me to get rid of you But me, I'm a nice guy I saved your life Right now, I am the only friend you got Now you figure I owe you something. Is that it? Smart guy. I like that. You are a way ahead of me. It is really a simple question. Aram of the pillars. <sighs> of course. Where is it? I don't know, buddy. Bullshit. Look, even if I did know, my life wouldn't be worth very much once I told you, now would it? You insult me. You're a pirate. And a good businessman. Give me some respect. Let's try this again. Where is Aram, Nathan? Look, you can torture me all you want. Okay. But I can't tell you what I don't know. Maybe so. We'll see if your friend is more cooperative. What? Who? Your friend, Victor Sullivan. I don't want to do this. At his age, it may be too much for him. Wait. No, no, no. You have given me no choice. Perhaps your friend will be more grateful for his life. Wait. Leave Sully alone! By Nathan! You don't touch him! <laughs> this is gonna be fun! <clears throat> 